What's up legends, let's go Pokemon card hunting. And I kind of decided recently, you know, I haven't opened up some Evolving Skies in a long time. And I'd love to open, you know, a product like an ETB that has a bunch of Evolving Skies products in it, but we don't really find those much anymore. But what we do still find is the sleeve blisters. And even though I don't usually purchase them, I think I might go ahead and get maybe eight to 10 of those uh, sleeve blisters for Evolving Skies if we can find them today. I heard that Best Buy has them for a good price if they have them. So let's go check it out. They had every blister except for Evolving Skies. Not surprising, it's definitely, I'd say it's probably the most popular uh, sleeve blister that you can get because it's, you know, slowly becoming harder to find. Anyway, let's keep looking. We'll look at some other stores as well. All right, next stop, let's check out Walmart. Okay, we do have some blisters back here. Let's see if we can look back there and find any evolving skies. Seems like brilliant stars. Oh yeah, now there are some evolving skies. All right, well, Walmart did have evolving skies blisters, but unfortunately they are quite a bit more expensive than what you can find in some places like um, Best Buy and GameStop. And so, I don't know, I might regret it, but I'm probably gonna hold off on it now. And, um, you know, even Target, I think will price match um, any of these other stores. So let's go check out Target and the GameStop that's over here as well. And the lady at GameStop said they just sold the last few, uh, but they do get them occasionally. So too bad, but we still can check out Target over here. Let's go. ETB, Fusion Strike, Pikachu Boxes, Greninja, The Union. Oh, they actually have Shining Fates Pikachu Boxes here too. Calyrex V. Alright. Hey, you don't need a lot of price matches. Man, so close. But the lady said she would not price match the Pokemon cards. Also, I could only get six of them anyway, so it's kind of unfortunate. I decided I'm just gonna wait because I know that GameStop and Best Buy both have them for $3.99, and if I'm gonna be getting eight or 10 of them, I wanna make sure I'm getting a pretty good deal. I could definitely save about $5, I think, by doing it that way. All right, well, maybe we'll continue the hunt another day. Hopefully we can find some more Evolving Skies blister packs for a good deal. Let's uh, skip to the next day. And the hunt for a reasonably priced Evolving Skies Blisters continues. Let's go check out GameStop again. Mm -hmm. Well, still no Evolving Skies Blisters at GameStop, but man, they were stocked with a lot of other good stuff. I don't know, I may have to come back here another time and pick up some of those uh, ETBs, we'll see. All right, well, let's uh, check out Best Buy. Maybe they restocked. All right, well, no luck at Best Buy. Um, but you know what? There's actually another uh, GameStop that I don't think I've ever checked for Pokemon cards before, which is in the mall over here. Let's uh, check that out. You just never know. Back 
Holy cow, guys. That was a lot of Pokemon cards. I don't think I've ever seen that much at a GameStop before, and man, I probably should have been checking this place sooner. Seriously, there had to have been 25 Shiny Fates ETBs there. And I, I guess uh, people, are people getting bored of Shining Fates? I mean, it's uh, I still am enjoying it. But man, there's just so much available right now. Uh, not to mention a whole bunch of other stock. I must have gotten here on the restock day here. Uh, you just never know with GameStop. It seems like they have kind of sporadic restocks. Now, I did not see any sleeved boosters. There were, you know, Fusion Strike and Battle Styles. But I actually looked online and it said that this GameStop actually did have some Evolving Skies in stock. And uh, I don't know, maybe I should just uh, order it online to pick up and maybe it'll be ready to pick up tomorrow. I'm not sure, but we'll uh, skip to the next day and regardless, we'll keep trying to find these. All right, Legends. Well, unfortunately we were unsuccessful in finding some reasonably priced Evolving Skies blisters in stores. Uh, in fact, I even tried to order some off of the GameStop website and they completely canceled my order because I guess they didn't even have them in stock where they said they did. But wouldn't you know it that they actually threw some up on the Pokemon Center website recently for $3.99. So that's the best price that you can find. They didn't charge any shipping, so we got a great deal on 10 here. And it'll be sort of like opening up an Evolving Skies Pokemon Center ETB. So I'm super excited about this. It's definitely a fun set. Let's see what we can pull today. Now, by the way, if it's your first time here, my name is Luke, and after 20 years, I got back into collecting Pokemon cards to chase that feeling of nostalgia from my childhood. So I hope you'll come along the collecting journey with me by hitting that subscribe button below. But yeah, guys, super excited to get into these. Let's rip into them. This is a set that I uh, definitely enjoy a lot. And honestly, I probably underappreciated it somewhat when it first came out. Now, I knew it was a good set. I knew I been well, was going to want to chase the Eevees and the Dragonite. But at the time when it came out, it was kind of like a month before um, Celebrations was about to come out, which I think everybody was hyped for. And so I think for that reason, I didn't go as hard for this set as I kind of wish I would have. And, you know, I always did have the perspective and knew that eventually, you know, there would be more reprints of it uh, within the year. So, you know, I'm not extremely concerned about it. Oh, shoot. I saw something peeking back there. Um, but I will say that, man, I'm losing my train of thought. Okay, let's get through this pack first because I'm kind of excited. I don't know what this could be. Could it be an alt art right on our first pack here? Applin. Okay, there's our reverse Dano, and okay, well man, it definitely faked me out. We got the Lycan Rock and Max, but hey, still some first pack magic. We'll take it right there. So as I was saying, I didn't go as hard after this set as I think I wish I would have because it's really a phenomenal set. I think time is showing that, and people right now, I think, are especially talking about it a lot because of the price going up for the booster box and the price going up so much for the uh, Umbreon um, alt art and on top of many other alt, alt arts. The fact that it stayed around 300 bucks for quite a while is pretty incredible. And so, yeah, um, I'm kind of with most people in that and that I'm kind of also hyped about this set and feeling a little bit of that FOMO, wishing I had opened up more of this already only because you know the pull rates are not the the easiest and so um i've really only pulled two alt arts and one of them came just the other day you can see we got the leafy on alt art which i was super stoked about uh but yeah the fact that there's so many other ones to pull i kind of don't want to miss out on this set while it is still in print and uh you know Definitely, I definitely believe that a reprint is coming soon. A lot of people believe that. Anybody who tells you otherwise is probably, you know, full of it because this set is not even a year old. It's, I think, around six months old now. Maybe, maybe seven months. So yeah, we're still in the ripe time frame to get a reprint for this set. And I think the fact that we saw those um, three, those three pack hangers come out pretty recently at Walmart, which we picked up, and that's where we pulled that Leafeon from. 
the fact that we're seeing that tells me that Pokemon knows that this is a popular set and they are, I think, going to milk it for as long as they can. Now, of course, as collectors, we hope that they don't do it too much to where all the cards lose their value, but just is it is what it is because that is the balance that you need to strike between making sets accessible but also keeping some rarity for people in the collection the collect collecting hobby I should say all right we got a hollow right there Marsh shadow now were any of you able to pick up some of these blisters when it came available the other day I'd be curious to know and if you got anything good from them I got 10 you know, part of me wishes I would have gotten more, but, you know, as I always say, I do still operate on a budget, and so I thought 10 was a good number for this time. And like I said, I do believe the reprint is coming, so we will be getting another booster box in the future. And our first booster box, we pulled the Altar Dorelodon, so that wasn't bad, but that has gone down quite a lot in value. And our second booster box, we hit like barely anything. So yeah, I'm definitely feeling uh, like I wanna take advantage of this set while I can. I'm definitely planning to collect pretty much all these EV alt arts. That's kind of a plan for the long term. And I would prefer it if I didn't have to buy them all, you know? Especially if we can get some of the more high ticket ones feel a little bit better about it now unlike certain sets like celebrations I don't feel like I need to like pull every single card myself I will eventually buy some but like I said while you can you just want to experience that thrill of potentially pulling a really cool card nice love that reverse hollow Eevee there with the Rayquaza chilling in the background there flying in the background and we also have an Ampharos, okay. I do know that if I see more of those uh, hangers show up at Walmart or wherever else, I'm definitely gonna be picking those up because I had such good luck on my first one. Literally, I just bought one and I got both a, a Rainbow Rare Gordy and that Leafeon. So pretty great for that box, you know, probably just a lucky box. I don't know that they're all like that, but you never know. But I also think that those hangers are a good value as well for the patch that you're getting. We got Talonflame. Man, we haven't seen an Ultra Rare for quite a while. But that's the thing with these blisters and why I, why I usually don't always pick them up is I feel like it's really just luck of the draw. Whereas, I guess my feeling, and this may be completely wrong, I don't know, maybe I've just been influenced by different YouTubers or whatever, my feeling is that when you buy one of the boxes or one of the um, just products where packs come together, um, I just feel like you may be more likely to pull something. Maybe you're not gonna get as many hits, but maybe you'll at least have a guaranteed hit. But I've also opened some pretty bad ETBs and pretty bad products where we haven't pulled anything. So that's not always the case either. So maybe it's just all um, the same amount of randomness to everything. Ooh, nice. Okay, not a ultra rare, but I have not pulled this yet. I like this a lot. Got the Roadrunner Zapdos. That's looking pretty cool. Just take a minute and appreciate that. All right, definitely gonna sleeve that one up for sure. Okay. Well, getting down to the wire. We got only three packs left. I guess this will kind of also, you know, depending on what we pull from these, it might determine whether or not I do this again and get a bunch of blisters like this, or if I'll just stick to the individual products. But again, the other challenge with Evolving Skies is that other than the ETB, there weren't a lot of products that came with a ton of Evolving Skies in them. Like usually um, they came with other packs like Vivid Voltage and Chilling Rain, and then it maybe came with one or two Evolving Skies packs. And 
that's been kind of unfortunate. So this, the fact that they came out with that uh, three pack um, box hanger, I think does kind of make it more attractive for that reason. And of course, I think also the three pack blisters are nice, but I haven't seen those for a while personally. But I hope that we get more of those when the reprint comes because I think those are fun to open as well. All right, guys, let's see what we got from this pack. Hippodon Reverse and, okay, Vol Corona. Definitely appreciate this artwork. It's one of the better V artworks in my opinion. It's actually hand drawn, but not at all what we're looking for though. We do have just these two packs left and man, this is flying by. We gotta get something, gotta get something good here. Okay, one, two, three, four. For our second to last pack, we got a Metal Gear Solid Mufasa, Scroll of the Fang Dragon, a bear, Drowsy, Scraggy, Begone, Woobat, Timpole, Timber, Talonflame Reverse, and a Gigalith. Wow. Wow, this is, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's been okay. We got two ultra rares, two hollows. Uh, I don't know. For this many packs, I guess I would like to see a little, little bit more than this. But frankly, if you were to open a, just an ETB, obviously it has two less packs, but I feel like this is the sort of thing that you often get sometimes, which is unfortunate. Also, I haven't seen those. Of all these guys' ETBs in a while. Okay, guys, this is the moment of truth. It'd be pretty crazy to get it in the last pack, but let's hope for an alt art today. We got the Leaf, Fletchinger, Shopping Center, Lantern, Nicket, Savely Eye, Carvana.com, and Mulga. What a slack off. Crystal Cave. And yeah, I don't know. I'm not thinking we have anything here. We got Flapple. Oh man. Alright, well, nothing crazy. I say I'd say my favorite of this entire opening was this Galarian Zapdos, which surprisingly I haven't seen very much of. But that's okay. We will keep trying for evolving skies. Be sure you are that you're subscribed so you don't miss more of those openings. Well, thank you guys so much for your continuous support. And if you want to support the channel even more, be sure and go and check out our store and pick up a Legend t-shirt, link in the description below. Also give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and you can check out one of these videos here on screen. Lastly, I want to remind you that no matter what you're going through, you are not alone. God is with you, and he loves you, and we do too. I'll catch you next time.